What should make me feel uh, like I might potentially have an addiction problem? Or a problem with addiction, whether it's alcohol, drugs, or I want to say, that, and we'll get to defining this. I want to say that sort of the non-substance abuse type of addictions, my phone, uh, the video yeah. games, you name it. I mean, I would put that pretty simply, which is just, you know, I would consider yourself, you know, I would consider that the the object of what you feel like you're addicted to is a problem um, when it's a problem. So, you know, I, I don't think people need to overcomplicate it. I mean, yes, if you're, you know, shooting up heroin multiple times a day and you've lost sort of all the close people in your life, okay, that's a slam dunk. Sure, you're addicted. But, yeah, I mean, what is it when, when you know, you feel like you're addicted to food or your phone or Netflix or, or porn? You know, well, pretty much just when it's a, when it's a problem. Now, diagnostically, you've got to meet more than just like one problem. So if you've just lost one friend or one relationship or one job or something, you know, that's not going to classically be defined as addiction and you're not going to have that diagnosis. But what do you care about diagnosis? You know, there, there's no medication, you know, to help with you know, phone addiction anyway. So, you know, you have to ask, well, why, why am I even trying to define this? Well, if you're trying to define it because you want to know if you have something you need to do something about, you know, I would keep it very simple and say, if you, if you see it producing problems in your life, well, then who cares what it's called? You know, do something about it. And so if you're on the phone, you know, way too much scrolling, you know, throughout the, the whole day and you don't pick your head up and look at your partner over dinner, oh, then that's a problem. It's not that that's not going to be defined as an addiction. That's not going to meet clinical criteria. But um, if sure. Don't really wait. Sure. Don't wait until the divorce. That, that's a problem. Don't wait until the divorce papers arrive. Um, right. Say, hey, this right. really, there's a problem here. But, <laughs> but it can be bad still. Yeah. Practically mm -hmm. speaking, what are the things that I can do to help at change and improve my life around those non-substance issues? I think it's helpful to kind of separate out a couple things. So, one is sort of when we innocently fall into certain habits and compulsions. And other times when it's um, when it has a little more story and background to it. So an example, of what I mean by you know innocence is you know social media kind of gets us all. You know we we get bombarded with stuff. It's you know clickbait. It's easy. It's convenient. It's right there, and it's usually going to be more fun to you know to do what's right in front of you that's fun than work or do you know go for you know run or do anything that's difficult at all or discipline. So. You know, that's sort of the innocent stuff. Um, that's a little separate than most people who suffer from what they really would call, you know, more clinical addiction with, you know, real drinking drugs, where that's not just innocent. Usually that's coming out of real pain. So um, for most people who are considering themselves addicted in the real medical sense, um, I would absolutely recommend following where someone's pain is. And pain can mean clinical depression, clinical and, and anxiety disorder. Um, it can mean all sorts of things like PTSD, but pain can be anything emotional. So pain can be very, very commonly bored with life, feeling empty, feeling like I thought I was going to be somewhere different in life or my life partner doesn't quite satisfy me. So um, just not being where you want in life is one of the more common reasons that people go on to have a true addiction with the substance or alcohol. And, and so that is where I would always point people. Whether you do therapy, take a medication for that, or you know, do something else personal, um, that's, you know, those are details. But the, the big picture is you take care of the source of your pain and that true addiction will fade away.